Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I have a home decor idea to share with you today. We recently got a sneak peek at the catalogs that are coming January 4th, and we are obsessed with them. They are so much fun, full of new, bright, fun spring ideas that we can't wait to share with you. This was an idea that I came up with using some of our new celebration paper. It's called the Sunshine and Rainbows Celebration Paper. It comes in a little six by six stack, just like this. The colors are bright and fun. It's got these cute little trendy rainbows that you probably see on the home decor and fashion, just kind of everywhere. And it's got these fun, bright colors. I just love this paper and the great part is we have a stamp set and die set that coordinate with this paper in our mini catalog. So you'll have to check that out and get this paper during the promotion which goes January and February. I wanted to take this paper though and make something bright and fun for my niece's bedroom. They've redone their bedroom with these exact rainbows recently and when I saw this paper I thought they need a wreath for their room. I found a wreath idea on Pinterest that I could easily recreate using our Stampin' Up! products. And I came up with this. An easy little wreath that can be put on the wall using just designer series paper and some cute little accessories right in the middle there. And I wanted to show you how to do this one. I started with a template. We'll have this template for you in the video description for you to download if you want to recreate this exactly as I've made it. You'll print two of this and flip it. Once you cut them out, you'll flip it over and you'll tape them together to get this circle. It measures just under 12 inches. I have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that I have um, traced this onto. And then you'll go ahead and cut that out and the middle out and that will give you your template. Now I liked mine to be a little more sturdy so that it would hang and I took just the backing of one of our designer series papers and I that's what I used as a little bit of a anchor for my wreath. So I cut both of these out and glued them together and that's what will make the base of your wreath. So you'll have one that looks like this. Now to have your spaces even on your wreath. I drew, I took a ruler and I drew lines like a pizza. I drew a line here and here and then I cut that into quarters and that gives you eight sections. These don't have to be perfect but I like to do that just to realize where I'm at on my wreath. If you wanted to do all of one color, if you wanted to do different sections, this would just give you kind of a bearing as when you're going. So I have my little strips that I've cut. These strips are cut to three quarters of an inch by four inches. And I've just chosen uh, an array of papers from the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. I've also added in this beautiful edition from the mini catalog called the Supple Shimmer Paper. It's in this kind of icy blue color and this deep pink color. I thought these worked perfectly with this designer series paper. So I have a few of each of these little strips. You'll need these and you'll need some glue dots to do this project. You'll need a lot of glue dots, probably about a full box for each wreath that you do. So to start your wreath, you're going to take uh, one of your strips and you'll add a glue dot to the inside of your strip and then you're gonna just fold it into a little circle. Kind of puff it out so that it's not smushed. And then you'll add another glue dot on the end. And you'll start to adhere onto your wreath. I like to start at a line and build my wreath. Now if you're using a paper that's directional, you wanna make sure that your um, image is facing the correct direction. So some papers you won't have to worry about that. Others you'll want to pay attention to where the stripes are going because it can be really cute if you alternate your stripes or kind of put them in different directions. So you'll go ahead. And the great thing about this designer series paper is both sides coordinate. So even if people can see on the inside, it's going to look really cute. So you're going to do a row of three, just like that. 
And then you'll add on a row of two so that the papers lay really well together. I chose from these designer series papers some brighter colors because that's what I favored. You could do this with so many different of our designer series papers packs and they would be just so, so cute. So that's how you're gonna start. You're gonna do rows of three, followed by rows of two, and then again a row of three. For each section, you need about 20 strips. So you can keep that in mind. If you wanted to do all of the strips in one section the same, you could do that. It, I've done it before with other projects and it looks really, really cute. You can see some of those projects on our blog. Um, we'll have pictures there for you to see of each of those wreaths that we've made. So let me pull back in the final project so you can see what it looks like. There it is with all of its little curls on it. So cute. We added this little hanger that says, you make me happy with some ribbon and a cute bow. And I just varied all of the different pattern papers throughout this one. I thought it looked so cute and bright and fun. I love the way it turned out. I hope you'll try this idea with some designer series paper that you have on hand. And if you love this designer series paper as much as I do, don't forget to grab some before celebrations over in February. Please let us know if you have any questions on this project. We'd love to help you. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.